Chris Berman, and welcome to NFL Countdown from the Bristol Studios. Straight ahead, it's the Giants looking to put a notch in the W column. I'd expect them to stick with their highly efficient and potent passing game. Lining up against them, we've got the Vikings also looking to put a notch in the W column. Their key here, getting their defense on the right track. My prediction, the New York football Giants. Because of this man, he is a quarterback that can get things done for you. Impressive arm to be sure, but it's the intangibles that are impressive in my book. Poise, leadership, tenacity, all the things you want from your general down on the field. Giants, Vikings, straight ahead. Chris, and welcome everyone to the Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome here in Minneapolis. Dan Stevens here along with my good buddy Peter O'Keefe. Peter, looks like we've got a good one in store for us. You got that right, Dan, and you know, traditionally the Vikings clubs they've had up here in Minneapolis have been about one thing, offense. Say what you will about the purple people eaters, but this club loves to get up and down the field. And as the teams get ready below us, who do you think is the guy to watch in this one? Well, Chris made a good choice earlier on, but I've got my eye on somebody else, too. Hochstein is a tight end that sometimes can get overlooked, but, oh, that would be a mistake. Here's a guy that will go in and make huge blocks for you all day. Watch him here. It looks like we're ready to start. Let's go down to the field for the coin toss. It's tails. And we will see. Graham kicking off for the jump. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Viking football. Graham kicks it off to begin the game. Rieger downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Vikings will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Picks up six on the play, and that will bring up second down. Cook played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. They move the ball, and it will second be and second four. down. Ball at the Vikings 26 yard line. Cook gets the call again, and takes it up field. down, Vikings. At the 36. That will bring up first down. Cook used his blockers to perfection on this play. Watch him slip through the hole they make. And he uses the room for a big time game. Great job all around. A well designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. First down, two receivers to the left. Cook carries it for a third time in a row and picks up a couple. Second and eight. Ball at the Vikings, 38-yard line. Cook picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up third down. Cook traveled in his blockers wake back there, but the defense really didn't give up much. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. Ball at the Vikings, 40-yard line. Osborne didn't haul incomplete. that one in and it falls Osborne incomplete. Fourth down safety. coming up. Number Osborne tried to snag that one across the middle, but doesn't happen. That will bring up fourth down, and what a disappointment. That would have given them the first. You gotta make Number those 14, plays when they come your way. Right lines Number up for three, the punt. Make the return. Wright takes the snap and punts it away. Shepard gets it at the 21. Back down at the 24. Shepard got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. 
The Giants get their field. offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 24-yard line. Number 26, chews up four yards, and that brings up second down. Second and six. Ball at the Giants, 28 yard line. the first on third and long. Jones throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big first plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. Giants, 42-yard line. Puts his arm into this one, and it's tipped. Incomplete. incomplete. That's a Luka got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial Second there. Second down coming up. Ball at the Giants, 42-yard line. Chews up four yards, and that brings up third down. Third down, six yards to go. Round to a halt at the 46. Azumuga was in on the tackle. That will bring up fourth down. Asamuga brought down the ball carrier before the markers. Number six. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. Number That's five. his second Make tackle so far. Number six gets ready to punt this away. Number six takes the long snap and punts it away. Rieger fields the punt at the 11. Tackle at the 16. Rieger got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. Vikings stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 16-yard line. Cousin throws a bullet, and it's incomplete. incomplete. Number 30 tried to snag that Number one across 30, the middle, but it doesn't receiver. happen. Number five with the coverage. Second down, both Second wide outs to the right. Ball at the Vikings, 16-yard line. Intercepted. Breaks a tackle. Touchdown. Touchdown. Davis intercepts the ball close to the end zone, so you know he's going for it. And he gets it. What a huge play for the defense as they put points on the board. He'll get the touchdown, and he does it in style. Beautiful play. Graham to attempt the extra point. Taylor holding. Now the extra point, the extra and point is good. it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Graham, who's a beauty here? 
Rieger decides to take it out of the end zone. Breaks free. Brought down at the 27. Rieger sees an opening in this defense and carries the ball for a good size run back. Well, I'm a little surprised he didn't down it, which automatically would have put the ball on the 20. Well, anytime you can get yardage for doing nothing, that's the part of the game I could really excel in. The Vikings were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 27-yard line. Cook is at the 40. 45. First down. Finally gets Vikings. out of bounds at the 40. That will obviously bring up the first down. Cook made a huge gain and sailed past the marker before getting out of bounds. That's a big time play. What a run, man. He is generating some great numbers. Oh, yeah, he's running hard. And up to now, he's got 52 yards on five carries. First and 10. Ball at the 40 yard line. A play on this and forces the incompletion. Brown couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Second and ten. Ball at the 40 yard line. Cousin rifles it out left side and he connects Jefferson for a pickup of four on the play. Number Jefferson had the a defender tackle. close by but was able to bring down the catch. They move the ball and that'll bring up third down. Third Boy, and look six. at those stats. What a ball career. Jefferson catches it over the middle and they get the first on third and long. Cousin makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow. Now that is one confident QB. A beautiful pickup, Peter. That's the Everyone the on the quarter. offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Giants are out in front, seven to nothing. Unloads this one to the left, and the catch is made at the 13, and he stopped right there. Osborne made a fantastic catch in double coverage. Keep getting him the ball, guys. They move the ball, and it will be second, second down. Five. Ball at the 13. Cook carries it for the sixth time, and gains about three yards. King with the tackle. Third and three. Wow, those are nice stats. Way to carry the ball. Cousin throws a bully first and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Hoxton made a superb catch, even though he had three guys closing in on him. What a play. That'll be his first catch of the game after being shut out the entire first quarter. This is a bit of a slow start for him. Yeah, it is, Dan, but he will see the ball more and more as the game goes on. Well, we got a quarterback and a tight end one-two punch here. I wonder if it's go time for him. They couldn't That's connect on this one. Incomplete. Number 86, Number 86 got open by running a little King inside route the there, but cannot make the completion. That would have been a touchdown, but instead, after the incompletion, they will face a second down. Oh, yeah, Dan, you have to take advantage of opportunities like that. and stops that back at the four. 
Kane targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Another tackle, and he's starting to fill up the stat book. He is dominating, Dan. So far, he's got five tackles. He's in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Vikings. This is a good call here, Dan. Are a lot harder than you think, but on this one, they tough it out on the ground and get everything they need. That's the first time he's seen the end zone, and you know it was going to happen sooner or later. Oh, he expects to have something under that TD stat at the end of every game. Now the extra point, and it's good. signal and we're ready Joseph kicks it off Shepard catches it back at the one breaks a tackle stop at the 26 Shepard grabs this pretty good boot and then he takes off pretty decent return too. tell you what you gotta love the special teams players they really go for it The Giants could take the lead before halftime as their offense will start at their own 26-yard line. Jones throws a bullet to the flat, and the reception is made for a pickup of maybe a yard. Jones made a nice throw there, got it right past the defender. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were you know, hoping for more. Well, the Giants, 27 yard line. Murphy tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Murphy came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Rifles this one hard over the middle, and That's it's tipped. Incomplete. incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Asamuga got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball six, of the game. Yeah, great read there. Number six lines up to punt after the three and out. Number six gets the snap and pummels this one deep. Rieger fields the deep punt at the 26. Tackle at the 34. Rieger has to adjust to a whopper of a punt here. He gets under it and is able to get a few before he's taken out. Good job on the kicking squad to bring up the big shoe. Vikings offense takes the field and they will start out at their 34 yard line. Cousin just rifles this one and it's tipped is incomplete. incomplete. Number 58, Number 58 read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. Second and 10. Ball at the Vikings, 34-yard line. Jefferson six, grabs the rope right side, and that's good for six. Cousin threw the pass into double coverage, but gets his man perfectly. Hey, that was one accurate Third throw. Another short pass, and he likes that area of the field so far. And why not? He's had success there. Third down from the on. Cousin gets all of his arm into this pass first and down, it's good Viking. for the first down and a whole lot more. Jefferson.
Jefferson faces down two defenders and comes Warning. away with the football. Oh, oh the nice board. catch. And down. another completion, he's and he's definitely shaping up to be a major factor in this game. It's only the second quarter still, but if he can keep it up, he could have a typically impressive day. First down with the tight end right. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground, and it's incomplete. Number 30, Number 30 and that one come right to him Number back five. there. You Where's have the to catch those passes, baby. That's the third incompletion his Second way, Peter. Yeah, and he's starting to look a little frustrated down there, too. Jefferson goes in motion. Fall apart back there, so he decided to ad lib a little and run it. Nice scramble. Third down, three wideouts in the game. Ball at 39. Jefferson didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Fourth down coming up. McKinney, McKinney the got the wrench in that plan for the big gain there. Great coverage on that high-stakes play. It seemed like the defense read that one from the Number beginning, 14. and they forced the incompletion with relative ease. Beautiful the call return. by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Wright gets ready to punt this away. Wright gets the ball and punts it away. Shepard takes it at the 10. Tackled at the 13. Shepard fielded the ball, and although he was dropped pretty quickly, that terrible kick gives him some good field position. The Giants First have had some trouble York. moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 13-yard line. Hodgins falls it in right side and is well past the markers for a first down. Jones lived dangerously on that play with a pass into double coverage, but the throw was on target. What a pass. First and ten. Ball at the Giants, 31 yard line. Jones throws a bullet to the flat and the catch is made for a gain of a couple. Number 26 Hick. had a Hick defender the close by but was able to bring down the catch. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were you know, hoping eight. for more. Second Ball down with a split three. backfield. Three. Campbell reels in the football three. and first it is at the, the, the Giants. Ball. Take their first time out. First and ten. Ball at the 47. Jones rifles it out left side, Pass and it is not reeled in. Incomplete. Was the Campbell receiver. was open, but he couldn't make the catch. Hit. Maybe the he cover? should bring a butterfly net with him next time. That falls incomplete, but it ten. would have been a minimal gain Ball had they completed it anyway. Second down, ten yards to go. And it falls into the Campbell muffed an almost guaranteed catch there. And as a receiver, you have to carry your weight and make the play. They don't come much more catchable than that one. That's his first drop, and it is not often you see that from him. No, normally he's pretty sure he will Jones unports this to the left sideline, and incomplete. they can't connect. Incomplete. Campbell is open on the edge there, but the completion just doesn't come together. Peter in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Number Boy, six. Third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. 
Number six lines up for the punt. Number six takes the snap and punts it away. The Vikings offense takes the field with the clock at seven. Cook takes it for his eighth carry and picks up a couple. So That's that'll bring the, the first half point. of football to a close as the clubs head to the locker room all tied. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? Thanks, Dan, and welcome to the Halftime Show. Let's look at the key drives of the half. Number 57 has intercepted the ball and decided to make it the play of the game for his team and returned it all the way for a touchdown. Number 57 finished the whole thing off with a little well-deserved celebration. The Vikings were not to be outdone, however. They ripped off some rushing plays as they pushed the ball 73 yards on 10 plays. Number eight put the capper on the drive, rambling it in for the touchdown. And now for my hot at the half player. Number 57 stepped up to the plate big time. His defensive scoring ability has rightly made him our focus here and the focus down on the field. If they come away a winner, he'll be one of the reasons why. And that'll do it from the Bristol studio. See you later. Let's go back now to the game with Dan and Peter. Thank you, Chris Berman, and welcome back to Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome. The Giants get the ball first to start the second half, and they will have a chance to break the deadlock. It's all tied up here. Let's go down to the field. Joseph kicking off to the bike. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Joseph boots the second half kickoff away. Shepard fields the second half kickoff at the one. Breaks a tackle. Drop down at the 28. Shepard got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Giants had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their own 28-yard line. Number 26 gets the call on first down and picks up a couple. Second down, two receivers to the left. Ball at the Giants, 29 yard line. Catches the hard throw, and that's a gain of seven on the play. Jones made a nice throw there, got it right past the defender. A decent play, and they'll now face third and short. That's the key, Dan. Make third down easy, and they did just that. Now they just need to convert. We'll see what they do. Choose up four yards, and they will move the chains. First and ten. Ball at the Giants, 40-yard line. Number 26 gets the handoff and will end up losing a couple. Hicks not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it too. Big hit for a loss. That will be his fourth tackle of the Second contest. Second down, tight end to the left. Holmes in on the tackle back at the 34. Reed was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He 
powered into the backfield and made the tackle. Good defense that's forced two losses in a row. He's short of the marker. That the will bring up fourth down. Evans managed to take him down just before he got to the markers. Number they six. gave up some yardage there, but managed to keep Number them five. from converting. The and that's the magic word here. I think the defense won this one. Fourth down coming up. Number six gets the snap and pummels this one deep. Holmes gets it off the bounce at the three. The Vikings and ten, and ten have been Minnesota. locked in a defensive struggle so far. They will start this drive at their own two-yard line. Cook has his number called on first down. First and down gets well Vikings. past the markers for a first. Cook played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. McKinney couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial Second there. Ten. Second down coming up. The Vikings, 19 yard line. Jefferson catches it in the flat, and that will be a gain of three yards. Jefferson took his lone defender to school on that last play, making the catch with relative ease. That's broken kind of a cold streak for him. The last two passes his way were incomplete. Yeah, let's see if he stays on track. Third down, one man back. Cousin rolls first up first down. Viking. They get the first on third and long. Rieger faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. Cook picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up second down. With the tackle. Cook traveled in his blockers wake back there, but the defense really didn't give up much. Not second much there. Nine. It'll be second down. Oh, Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Hoxstein goes in motion. down and this and is the seventh play Second of the drive Vikings, 42 yard line Jefferson grabs the fast ball over the middle and they get the first on third and long Cousins roll the dice by targeting the receiver with two defenders near him let the pass clicked and they'll move the ball. Nice pass, Peter, and he's really lighting the up the stat sheet. Oh, you got it. So far, he's got 111 yards and one interception. So, three quarters in the books now, and we're all tied. Gets past the line and heads out right. Back down at 
at the 25. Number 28 with the tackle. Number 30 makes a great lead block here. Oh, you know, it's so crucial to have fullbacks who can block that well. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Second yeah, great and play, one. and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Cook has his number called on second down and first down, picks up Mikey. the first down. Kane just wasn't quick enough. He made the tackle, but the ball carrier was already past the mark. Another tackle, and it seems like we're always calling his name. What a hitting machine in the second down. Yeah, he's definitely carrying his weight back there. Cook gains three yards, and that brings up second down. Second and seven. Ball at the 19. Cook gets the toss and passes the line. Pop hard at the 15. McKinney with the tackle. Oh, look at those numbers. That's how to get it done on the ground. to the right. Stop at the three. Cousin saw his plans fall apart back there, so he decided to add lib a little and run it. Nice scramble. Second and three. Ball at the three. If we see the pass here, Dan, I have no doubt it's heading to his go-to man. And he's in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Viking. This is a good call here, Dan. These short yardage plays are a lot harder than you think, but on this one, they pump it out on the ground and get everything they need. Yeah, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have him. So far, he's got 99 yards and one touchdown. Here's the extra point, the and extra point it's good. good. signal and we're ready Joseph rockets this one deep Shepard decides to take it out of the end zone breaks free back down at the 25 Shepard gonna catch this one in his own end zone he makes the grab and is going to hustle it out past the 20. A good way to start off this drive. The Giants offense takes the field with time winding down. They'll start at their own 25-yard line. This one will fall incomplete. Shepard had that Number ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. That's his first drop, and it is not often you see that from him. No, normally he's pretty sure-handed there. Second and ten. Ball at the Giants, 25-yard line. Hodgins goes in motion. Smith managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great deal. That is their fourth batted ball. 
Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Third down and four wideouts in the game. First on third and long. Jones unloads this one to the left, and it's not real in. Incomplete. Jones thought he could beat the double coverage, but the pass was incomplete. That would have been a big play and a big first down, Peter. They just don't sync up. Good call. Maybe next time it'll work. of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Vikings will start a drive with the lead for the first time in this game. They'll begin at the 13-yard line. Cook barges off right guard and picks up a couple. Cook used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Look at the numbers generated on the ground. That is impressive. Number 30 is going to keep his wits about him here and make a smart play. The ball's loose, but now he gains control. Good reflexes to recover from that bad play. Third and inches. Ball at the three. Dan, watch for the quarterback tight end connection right here. Giants take their first time out. Fourth down and less than a yard. Joseph from 20 yards and cuts it straight through the uprights and good. Joseph has no problem getting this one between the sticks for three. Oh, he was so close. He could have made that if he was wearing wooden clogs. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I have a feeling we'll never know for sure. For the first time today, they leave the red zone with only a field goal to show for it. You know, overall, Dan, the defense has to be happy with how that one played out. Joseph kicks this one away. Shepard fields the kickoff at the two. Tackle at the 29. Shepard received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Giants start this drive of the game from well in their own territory and the clock at 1.17. Incomplete. Campbell ran a nice little corner route there, but was unable to make the catch. Another ball comes his way, and another 
incompletion. To come up blank so many Second times in a row is, well, it's got to oh, be demoralizing for a player. Absolutely, but you got to fight through the slope and grab one to get rolling again. Robinson goes in motion. Jones throws this on a rope, and it's tipped incomplete. Number 24 swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting it. They have really gotten after the ball as a team today. That is their fifth batted ball. Nice, aggressive deep. Third down, 10 yards to go. Hodgins snags the dark right. The Giants will take a timeout. That's their second. Seemed to be all over that one, but watch how it gets away from him. Ah, oh, there's just no excuse for that. You're a receiver, buddy. You catch those. They needed to keep that drive going. Instead, they'll give it up on down. A two-score game with the clock winding down. You cannot afford to come away with nothing. Cousin takes a knee. I'm out called. Second and 11. Ball at the 41. Pleasant takes a knee and the clock will tick down. Clock will tick down. And That's that is going to do it for this one. The Vikings come out on top 17 to 7. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time.